Let's do Thursday's Mail. And the wizard woman is still bad, Leo. <laughs> yeah, so a BAFTA-nominated composer called Christian Henson, who said, he basically tweeted saying he supported J.K. Rowling over her views on gender rights. Uh, he's been cancelled by his own uh, music company, which is worth uh, over 50 million. It's 55 million it's worth. Spitfire Audio, let's name and shame them. Spitfire Audio. So uh, he still owns uh, more than a third of the company. So I don't, I don't really understand how they could <laughs> oust him. But yeah, he basically said, he said, as a parent, and that's interesting because, you know, as a parent, you know, you become more conservative. Yeah. As, he said, as a parent, I can no longer keep my mouth shut about this. I'm in full support on Glinner, that's um, uh, Graham Linehan, and J.K. Rowling. Please look into this. So he's, he's understood to be referring to the Tavistock Clinic, which has been shut down because, uh, because it was, um, you know... Evil. E yeah, basically <laughs> evil and butchering kids and <laughs> railroading them into gender transitions. Uh, and also there's, there's now uh, a lawsuit with over a, a thousand families uh, suing the Tavistock uh, Clinic for, for damage that, that's been done to, to their kids. Uh, but, but yeah, even though you know, he's obviously got a valid point, he's referencing something that was obviously bad, uh, he's not being, um, you know, being against the Tavistock Clinic doesn't mean you're against trans people. You know, we can support trans rights support trans people, um, but this is, the, this is the sign of compelled speech we've yeah, got in our society. The, the, the nub of this story really is the CEO, Will Evans, being uh, terrified. Terrified because everybody is terrified to share any criticising opinion of yeah. transgenderism, including me, and I won't go any further on that, I'm sure, but he has essentially said that the guy sent the tweet out and he's gone, oh, this is going to be bad for us. So he's immediately dismissed his mate. Yeah. yeah. Which is where we find ourselves on this. There should be debate. Yeah. There should be debate. And, and he said should Christian's be, just... tweet has caused hurt among our community, which yeah. I thought was absolutely pathetic. Absolutely. What spit, Spitfire audio community, they're, they're caused hurt. It's an, it's an absolute nonsense. So, yeah, he's just compelling people to think a certain way, to express a certain opinion. You know, the correct response, if anybody's upset by somebody, you know, standing up for kids' rights or whatever, the correct response is to be like, fine, be upset. But, yeah. you know, we're, we're a company that makes music. You, it's not going to affect that. If you have one... You know, and you don't have to have children to, to feel this way. Maybe you can have a cat and feel this way. But once you do have children, it does make you a lot more emotive about these subjects. There was that film a couple of years ago on Netflix, and I wrote something on Twitter, you know, where they had those kids dancing around in sort of lingerie almost. Cuties. Cuties. And I, I actually, my tweet was very upset about it, and I got a lot of criticism for it. But you, you become very emotive and very conservative as a parent. Yes. I